Hey, what's up? It's JB back at it again. This time I am playing on the US team in my career. NBA 2K17. Let's fucking get it. From all around the globe watching tonight's showdown to find out which team is the best in the world. We'll see Australia and Team USA. And there's nothing bigger than international basketball. And it all boils down to this. The U.S. has made... And so off the tip, it's Team USA. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Team USA. Smith comes in for green. And on the international stage like this, it is always amazing to see the best and brightest of the United States come together. So many teams represented here today. And the saying is country before club. And as much as all these stars like to battle it out in the NBA, they all have one goal when playing in the red, white, and blue. An incredible collection of talent for sure and one mission in mind. Winning. The screen from Thompson. Durant with it. I'm just trying to get my points for real. Come on, come on, come on. And I get my dunk. That's what I'm talking about. A dunk in the Olympics, my nigga? Man, you can just see him psyching himself up after a play like that. Nice slam by Fred. Well, it's been a bit of a tradition to take one exceptional college player on the U.S. team and on their roster. Uh, this cycle, it's Prez's turn. And it's happened before. Remember Christian Leitner uh, and the brow and, and just how those two were special in college. The same can be said for Press. Plus, he'll get a chance to test himself on the international stage. Paul George has checked in for Team USA. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Shot clock at two. Here's Baines. No good on the triple. He certainly didn't take advantage of the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. I tell you what, I think he'd be happy if he can continue to get looks like that. And Team USA making a change here. Butler's checked in. Team USA shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And Kyrie Irving has played some of his best basketball in international play. What a run for him in 2014. Then route to the gold medal. And how about being the MVP of the tournament? I mean, he shot the lights out. Over 60% from range and has the tendency I think to just kind of misses the three and Baines is one of the game's elite offensive rebounders and you've got to locate him when the shot goes up I mean he's also not shy in terms of looking to score inside and he can hurt you if you let him get close enough to the basket and Perez is dangerous close to the basket wanting to jam it in whenever space opens up Here's Della Vidova. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. A big group substitution here for Team USA. Durant's checked in for George. Thompson comes in for Butler. Smith checked in for DeMar DeRozan. As y'all can see, my man is ready for prime time. He just grabbing everything. Now, it's the team's fault for not executing on the play, though. They get a hand on it. Here's Irving. The rebound by Anderson. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Back to Exum. Here's Smith. There you go. There you go. Get them easy points. Eight points for Smith. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for Team USA. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And another thing they've done right from the start is converting a lot of those second-chance opportunities. Those can be hard to come by sometimes. Team USA leading by 16. And you have to be impressed with the balance that the Australian team has. Defenders and scorers from top to bottom. It's a big part of why they have been so successful here in the tournament. Yep, exactly. I mean, the Australians have put together a team that works extremely well with each other and have played unselfish basketball the whole way. I mean, they're definitely more than the sum of their parts on paper. And I'd say kudos to the Australian Federation for putting this group together. 
Australia grabs the miss. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And finished off by Anderson. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Smith outside. Hands it from downtown. Smith's got seven points here in this quarter. And he's the main reason they have the lead right now. He's been perfect from the field, literally. Exum kicks to Mills. From 18 feet away, and Australia tacks on two more. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. Here's Smith. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. And what an honor it has to be for Prez to be representing his country on perhaps one of the biggest stages of basketball. Prez showed what he's capable of in college, and with his skill set, it wasn't too surprising to see him named to the team. Overall, it's been an incredible learning experience for Prez. And Team USA making a change here. Cousins has checked in. Six to shoot. To the left side wing. Stolen by Durant. He dishes it to Irving. And here is Durant. He's got 10. Thompson sets the pick for Irving. Stripped it away. Here's Ingles. Here's Bogut. And yes, it's good. Yeah, they've gotten into a nice flow this quarter. Yeah, looking to turn things around here, Greg, and cut into this lead. Australia going with a whole new group out there. And perhaps the biggest strength of this Australian team, uh, their passing ability. Everyone at every position has a great sense of how to move the ball around. Yeah, when you have guys like Bogut, Ingles, who all have size and can keep the ball moving around when it's not in the hands of a guard, I mean, that's a fun enjoyable style of basketball to watch. Green kicks to Smith. Stolen by Martin. Anderson outside. With the teardrop. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. For Australia, they've made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. First one falls for him. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for DeMarcus. It'll be a no-holds-barred affair. Here's Smith, on it from 12. He's got 17. Man, I like to see Prez get aggressive inside. Really determined to score when he gets that close to the rim. Martin dishes to Anderson. Martin, the pass to Delavidova. Kicks to Baines. The pass to Martin. Some nice ball movement by Australia. Six on the shot clock. Delavidova with the ball. Now Anthony defending. Offensive rebound. Three! with the block. And DeRozan kicks to Lowry. Smith outside. And Baines pulls it down. Baines has got his third rebound tonight. Here's Delavidova. Nails it with a hand in his face. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They really are, and their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Smith drives in. That ball's nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Smith's got four this quarter. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Here's Anderson. <laughs> And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. That one's on Anthony. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear him. So it's Team U. With the first pick in the NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select... Ben Simmons.
With the second pick in the NBA draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select Brandon Ingram from Duke University. With the third pick in the NBA draft, the Boston Celtics select Jalen Brown from the University of California, Berkeley. With the fourth pick in the NBA draft, the Phoenix Suns select Dragan Bender from Croatia. With the fifth pick in the NBA draft. All I know, I was in the same position the last time I played, and I got drafted to the Raptors, so hopefully that happens again, because I didn't get picked up by the Timberwolves like I was hoping. But let's see. Pelicans ain't picked me up either. Well, fuck them and Anthony Davis. Number seven. Oh, please don't let it be the Nuggets. What the fuck, man? I don't, even, I don't know shit about the Nuggets. Man, that's that bullshit for real.